you know, the Iron Bowl has uh, been pretty fun here during this offseason. There's been some back and forth between the Auburn uh, folks, the Alabama folks. That's not really any different than any other year. But maybe Auburn's latest decision here maybe spices this up just a, a little bit more. Um, Auburn, the reigning SEC West winner. I don't know that a division is worthy of thinking of as a championship, but apparently Auburn disagrees. Auburn's showing on Twitter that they're going to give all their players championship rings, and I say this in quotation marks, about the uh, 2017 SEC West. This from Auburn saying how the West was won, referencing the 4017 score over Georgia, the 2614 score over Alabama, hashtag hungry, hashtag war eagle, and there is the ring. This feels very participation trophy ask. I, I do have to admit <laughs> that. You know, it seems like for the SEC folks, then I think Danny Cannell made this point, uh, and I'll steal it from him who want to sort of bang on UCF or sort of self-proclaimed national championship. Boy, this Auburn uh, West Division championship ring seems like we're kind of going back down that same road, right? Yeah, I, I don't love the idea, but I, I'm actually, I, I'm, I'm not going to badmouth Auburn for this. And here's here's the bottom line. This is full disclosure for you guys. I got a ring just like this at home. Did you really? I got a ring just like okay. this sitting at home from 2008. Did you give them we out? We won the okay. West, went undefeated. We lost to Florida, lost to Utah in the Sugar Bowl. So I got one just like it sitting at home. I've never put it on my finger. Never wanted to wear it. Was never happy about getting it. But here's what I mean, you give it to your boy Scotty Cocker. He'll be banging oh, that thing in the mouth. Sledgehammer. <laughs> But here's what it did. Here's what it did. Nick Saban goes in and he puts the ring on his table. And a lot of people, well, the ring was huge. I, I mean, all these recruits, they start walking in. Oh, you guys went undefeated. Oh, 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 you know, oh yeah, I remember that game against Florida last year. You know, recruits trying on rings, recruits trying to do it. That's what it is. It's a yeah. recruiting tool. It's not so much, hey guys, look what we did. It's great. It's a recruiting tool. It's something to shed light on the incredible season, really, that Auburn did have last year. And, I, as much as I want to hate on it, I understand why they did it. And, you know, you understand why they did it, but you also understand why it's going to get some degree of negative attention, including one Alabama player who had seen the uh, ring on social media, kind of fired off his on tweet on that. Let me show you this. It's Terrell Lewis who says, this is sad. <laughs> That's his response <laughs> to that. And, you know, while I sort of disagree with the idea of the division championship ring, it sort of feels like, you know, and as you said, Auburn, I guess, not the first ones to do this. That's worth pointing out here. But it feels like we're sort of heading down that Butch Jones champion of life trail here where, you know, Jones famously gave out the rings for winning a regular season game against Virginia Tech in the Battle of Bristol. Yeah. This sort of feels like the thing of no matter how the season goes, we're going to make a championship ring for something. Yeah. This sort of it feels like it goes down that road. But this is where I do have to say, of all the teams that could be critical of Auburn here, it does feel like Alabama's the one that has to sit this round out because yep. in the head-to-head -head battle, Auburn can say, yeah, but we beat you. And then right. Alabama could say, we came back and won the national championship. But Auburn says, we played once, we won the game. Yeah. you got to sit this criticism out. That's what an Auburn guy, I think, would say to Alabama. Here. And, and that's what makes this such an interesting topic, right? Because it, when we have this conversation, if Bama never won the national championship, Auburn would have the bragging rights. Auburn went on the SEC game, and Bama would have to keep their mouth shut. But here we are sitting there with – you know, we talk about this every year. It's the same way with every rivalry in every state around the country as far as college football goes, where it's the battle of the state. It's a battle for state pride. It's a battle for, you know, on the line. It's it's Georgia-Florida or Georgia-Georgia yeah. Tech. Or, you know, it's state pride. Well, one guy won the game. The other one won the ultimate prize, which is the national title. So that's why this discussion is so fun. If, if they don't win a national title, guess what? Terrell Lewis is not opening his mouth. That's the bottom line.